Hello, Chef here. I'm sharing a recipe with you today. I had a request from a fellow baker uh, for an apple spice muffin. So here we go. We've got some Honeycrisp apples. We've got organic cinnamon. We've got uh, right here some whole nutmeg. And whole nutmeg is amazing if you grate it fresh yourself. If you don't have it, check out the sponsor. They got it. It's good. Uh, we're also using some Ukrainian sunflower oil that's something you don't see every day Ukrainian sunflower oil look at the color of that stuff here we go in this video I'll be using a generous amount of the organic Brazilian pure vanilla extract really really good this is amazing stuff you can get this by the gallon and fill the small bottles. Perfect holiday gift. I suggest you get the beans too because when you give a, a gift bottle and it's got beans in it, wow, that is some serious vanilla. That would be double extract, double proof, 2x if you use the extract and you add your own beans. Oh yeah, follow along. The first step, of course, is to peel your apples, and I'll be adding a detailed recipe towards the end of this video. You might have to explore a little bit to find the uh, detailed recipe. And uh, a master German pastry chef taught me long ago, you should be able to peel an apple with just one continuous peel, and if you can do that, well then you could pass his test for apple peeling. I prefer to leave a little bit of this peel on here anyway. So there we go. I'm going to do a medium dice on these apples. And this is what you're looking for right here. You can leave the core in and, and just slice your apples like this very quick, very easy, and get right down to the, the nitty gritty. That right there is eight ounces of apple. Pan. The butcher block is the other half of the process. You see that? That's a nice medium dice, exactly what chef's looking for. Ah, when all the apples are diced, they go into a stainless steel bowl. Just slide them right in. In this recipe, I'll be using two teaspoons of cinnamon. Got that right here. And I'll be using this is the good organic stuff, by the way. Yeah, Saigon. Nice cinnamon. Wow. Strong flavor. I'll be using one of these whole nutmegs right here. Just going to grate a little bit up right over the apples. How much, you ask? I don't really know. We're just adding some flavor. There we go. Fresh grated nutmeg. I probably used uh, one quarter of that nutmeg. Wow, it smells so amazing. Keep your nutmeg in a container, keep it closed. Okay, moving on to the next. I'm sifting two cups of flour, and flour is the variable. Depends on the time of year, if you're gonna use a little more or a little less. Sift it up right like this. Three large eggs. Crack them right into your mixer. Two cups of sugar. Four ounces of sunflower oil. And you mix it up. Oh, to the flour, we're also adding a teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure to use a teaspoon and get a level teaspoon of baking soda. If your baking soda is old, throw it out, buy another one. You need fresh baking soda for the power of the leavening. I've also put a pinch of salt. This mixture, of course, needs to be incorporated. So we're using a soft whisk for that and I want you to incorporate it very, very well. Just like that. 
Oh, you know how sometimes in the kitchen you go nuts? Well, yeah, nuts are optional. I decided to add one cup of chopped walnuts. Yeah. Okay, to our egg mixture, we're going to fold in the flour. You do that in steps. You put a little bit of the flour, and you turn it on, and you turn it off. This is something you're only going to learn in chef school or pastry school, correct methods. I was taught by a master German pastry chef, trust me. Okay, we're, we're putting all this in. Again, we turn it on, we turn it off. Just enough to fold it in. Aha! Uh -huh. Like that. Now, scraper. You must have a scraper. Scrape the bowl. Get all that flour down into the batter. Very, very critical. And uh, I suggest you get a quality scraper. You don't have one? Check the sponsor. They got them. That's what we're looking for right there. Uh-huh. Don't overmix. Now, all of the apples go in. All the apples go in at once. And I've got my cinnamon and nutmeg in there as well. Just like that. And the nuts go in. I'm going to save some of the nuts to put on top of the muffins. So just like that. There we go. Now if you were here, I would tell you to check this out and tell me what you think. Because there's a variable. The variable is, well, of course, it's the flour and the moisture. So if this looks too wet to you, add some more flour. If this looks too dry to you, add a little water or milk. Yes, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. The last step I like to do is to fold in the vanilla, the organic Brazilian pure vanilla extract. I'm going to be using two tablespoons. However, uh, I love vanilla. One, two generous tablespoons and we're just going to fold that right in oh yeah follow along we're using a scoop use the right size scoop to fit the pan we're putting a little bit of butter or oil in each muffin uh, cup so that they don't stick. Okay, the muffins just came out. These ones went about 30 minutes and they look pretty good. I will uh, pop one out and show you. Oh yeah, kind of hot to get out right now. But anyway, there you go. It's nice and brown all the way around. Uh, I would say it's literally perfect. And I will uh, loosen each one of these up, remove them from the pan in a few minutes. Like, share, subscribe, check out your sponsor, and uh, this video was all about uh, a nice fall apple recipe you're going to love, and don't forget to score some of the organic Brazilian extract at the sponsor. They got whole beans, they got all kinds of different stuff there, check them out. Oh yeah, it's going to be good.
my standard right here, and that is this awesome Boost Mystery Oil. Love it. Second one is the Board Cream. Okay, Board Cream, good stuff. So, uh, you notice they're different. The Board Cream's a little bit thicker. You actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package. And the oil is a little thinner. Your sponsor's got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight. A little bit of this oil treatment is a good idea. Definitely going to oil this block. Mystery oil. You can score this at the sponsor. You just put a little bit on like this. This will restore the butcher block to its original beauty. Wow looks really really nice and the wood sucking it up this block has not been oiled in a long long time so you can see it's pretty cool looking I kinda like the character all the scratches however save yourself all that work and time contact the sponsor this is maple with a food safe varnique finish. This is maple with the mineral oil finish. So this one should be oiled monthly. Put a little oil on there right now. This one is maintenance free. You can see the difference between this oil finish and this oil finish. The main difference is several decades of use versus brand new. Okay? This has been cut on, chopped on, sliced, and diced. Butchers have used tons of different knives on this block over many, many decades, and it's still looking good. Uh, of course, the brand new is nice, too. So, yeah. Uh, visit your sponsor. Hit them up and they give you uh, quotes, free shipping, and discounts as well. All right, check out the sponsor. They've got free shipping, no tax most areas, and they give you discounts. This is the best stuff there is. Subscribe right here. Check out the sponsor over there in the, in the links. And call the sponsor with any questions you have. They are experts. Combined, they have over 50 years of butcher block experience. Installation, staining, finishing, wood choices, kitchen designers, builders, and hotels, restaurants from around the world do business with the sponsor. Give them a call. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Wow. I like it. Don't forget to score all of your maintenance products at the sponsor as well. Cutting board maintenance is so important. Follow these tips.
Oh, yeah. Sourdough bread. Look at that stuff. Nice. Loaves. Learn more. Right there. Just search bread on this channel. Okay, if chef asks you for some chopped fresh basil, that's what he's looking for right there. Not the garbage you see at the fast food places. You know what I'm talking about, like Chipotle and Burger King and TGI and all these crazy fast food places. This is perfect chopped fresh basil. Oh yeah, let's continue. Learn from the chefs, get cooking, have a great day. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. By the way, this, this glove stops knives. Nothing is gonna cut me, and little chains all hand welded. Made in America. Check out your sponsor there, okay? So here we go. First, I'm gonna go right in half. Oh yeah, nice perfect cut, beautiful pair. Then I'm gonna do some quick slices, just like this. I ended up with about 20 slices there. I was hoping for 25. My standard right here, and that is this awesome Boost Mystery Oil. Love it. Second one is the board cream. Okay, board cream, good stuff. So uh, you notice they're different. The board cream's a little bit thicker. You actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package. And the oil is a little thinner. Your sponsor's got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight. A little bit of this oil treatment is a good idea. Definitely going to oil this block. Mystery oil. You can score this at the sponsor. You just put a little bit on like this. This will restore the butcher block to its original beauty. Wow. 
looks really, really nice. And the wood sucking it up. This block has not been oiled in a long, long time. So you can see it's pretty cool looking. I kind of like the character, all the scratches. However, save yourself all that work and time. Contact the sponsor. This is maple with a food safe varnique finish. This is maple with the mineral oil finish. So this one should be oiled monthly. A little oil on there right now. This one is maintenance free. You can see the difference between this oil finish and this oil finish. The main difference is several decades of use versus brand new. Okay? This has been cut on, chopped on, sliced, and diced. Butchers have used tons of different knives on this block over many, many decades, and it's still looking good. Uh, of course, the brand new is nice, too. So, yeah. Uh, visit your sponsor. Hit them up, and they give you uh, quotes, free shipping, and discounts as well. Yeah. I'll be back with more great videos to share with you. Magical mystery oil. Just a little bit like this. Plastic bag recyclable. Swirling motion. Good. Check out the huge selection at your sponsor. Edge grain, end grain, maple, cherry, walnut, big blocks, small blocks, countertops, island tops, cutting boards, and many, many other wood products and applications. Oh, so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale, and I know there's free shipping as well. Yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. So this one's kind of dried out. The surface is crying. Oil me, please. Oil me, please. And this one's fresh and ready to go. So that's the difference. You can see it right there. I highly recommend you get the uh, mystery oil and or the board cream. You just apply it like this, a little circular motion. Yeah. I prefer to use a plastic bag. I'm just going to put it on like this. Oh, yeah. looking good already and this block has given me years and years of cutting chopping pleasure uh, primarily this one's used for serving fruits and cheese you can see it sucking up the oil yeah the oil protects it it penetrates into the wood and it makes it last for many many more years looking really good now yeah the other side same deal it's crying for some oil. Oh, let's give it the oil. There we go. Okay, the oil is on there. Circular motion. Let it penetrate. Doesn't take very long, a little effort, but this maintenance is very, very important. So if you need to uh, score the oil, if you need to order the butcher block, I highly recommend you visit your sponsor. Uh, they have about 50 years of combined experience in butcher block and wow it's the good stuff
sizes, many styles, all made in the USA.